Hello friends. So today we are going to do a very, very interesting and a very important chapter of class 8. And it's, there are many names of this chapter. You can call this exponents. You can call this powers. You can call this indices. Clear? <coughs> Exponents or powers or indices. Now, what is this thing? Many a times you have heard So these are called exponents or indices or powers. Now suppose, suppose I write here 3 square. Clear? <coughs> Sorry. So in this 3 square, you can find two numbers. Right? One is 2 infinity. And the other is 3. Now there are two names of these two numbers. This number, see this is what? This is the main number. This 3 is sitting on this 3, right? So this 3 is called the base. And this 2 is called the exponent or you can call it power or you can say index oh 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 just now said told us that there are three names exponents, powers and indices now from where this index coming? don't worry this index is the singular number the plural is indices so now okay, so exponents, power, indices, all are same. In some books it is written as powers, in some books it is written as indices, in some books it is written as exponents. So, today we will be learning how to do this type of sums of powers, What is base and what is what is power of index or index? Now there are some formula. We have to note down this formula. Better I write the formula this side. So there is a formula. Number one, a to the power m into a to the power m is equals to a to the power m plus m. Can you see? <coughs> Sorry. Number two, a to the power m divided by a to the power m is equals to a to the power m minus. Number 3, a to the power m whole to the power m, this means a to the power m into n. Number 4, a to the power m I write it like this. No. Into b to the power m is equals to a b whole to the power m. Similarly, a to the power m divided by b to the power m equals to a by b whole to the power 
M. What else? Number 6, 8 over 0 is equal to 1. Number 7, 8 over 1 equals to A. Number 8, if 8 to the power m is equals to 8 to the power m, then m is equals to n. And number 9, if 8 to the power m is equals to b to the power m, then a is equals to b. So far, we just think about this formula. So what the formula says? a to the power n into a to the power a will be equals to a to the power n plus n. Now see, up to this, this two, multiplication and division, we will be using this two formula only when the bases are same. Here also a, here also a, here also a, here also a. That means if I tell you 2q into 2 to the power 7 equals to how much? Don't worry, 3 plus 7 is equals to 2 to the power 10. If I say 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 square, how much? 3 to the power 5 minus 2 is equals to 3 cube. Clear? But the bases should be same. If I say 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 3 square, how much? We have no formula. You have to multiply 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Again, 3 into 3. Whatever comes, that will be your answer. Is that clear? So first two formula will be applied only when the bases are same. By now you know what are the bases, right? <coughs> okay. Suppose there is a sum 2 square whole to the power 3. What we can do? We will just simply multiply this 2 to the power 6. Clear? Now this power will also be fraction. Many times I saw students get confused while fractional figures. Suppose 9 to the power half. 9 to the power half. Then 16 <coughs> to the power 1 by 4. How? See, very simple. Just follow the basic. This one to the power this one. Now what we can do? By seeing this 9, I can understand. This 9, I can write 3 square. 3 square means 9. Again, whole to the power half. Now what is, that means this goes to this formula. A to the power m, whole to the power m. That means 3, 2 into half, 2, 2 gets cancelled, your answer is 3. 16, 16 I can write 2 to the power 4. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 equals to the 4 plus 8 into the 16. So 16 I can break it and write 2 to the power 4. Now I'll be telling you sir, how can you, you are a teacher, you know that 2 to the power 4 but we are students, we are not as, you know, old like you. So how can we know? Okay, I put myself in your shoes, factorize. 2 8 is 16, 2 4 is 8, 2 2 is 4. So 1 2 3 4, 1 2 3 4. Now can you? Okay, so to the power 1 by 4, it was 2 to the power 4 into 1 by 4. 4, 4 gets cancelled, so you get only 2. So clear the formula? Very good. I will come to know where you will be doing the sums, whether the formula is clear or not. This one, suppose if 
faz ser? Two cube into three cube. See the bases are different, right? But the powers are same. So what I can do? I can write two into three whole to the power three. So you find out this two into two. Thank you. 
power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 8. What does this mean? This means if the power is negative, suppose 2 to the power minus 2, it should be 1 by 2 square. Suppose 5 by 6 to the power minus 3, that means it should be 6 by 5 to the power 3. That means 6 cube by 5 cube. Understood? Just it will be the reciprocal. Clear? Okay. So, 1 by 8, 4. Sorry. Okay. So, 1 by 8. So, now, 9 plus 4, 13 by 8 is equals to 1 by 5 by 8. This should be your answer if I am not wrong. Clear? Okay. Next, next, next. Which sum should I do? <coughs> mm. Okay. Ah, this is easy. Okay. Suppose if that this sum come, by what number should? By what number? Say the sum is like this. By what number should minus 15 to the power minus 1 minus 15 to the power minus 1 be divided by what number this should be so that the quotient so that the quotient may be equal to may be equal to I am not writing minus 5 to the power minus 1 minus 5 to the power minus 1 did I copy the sum right? ok so by what number should this be divided? let the number Therefore, according to the question or according to the problem, minus 15 to the power minus 1 divided by 8 should be minus 5 to the power minus 1. Am I right? Now we need to solve this. This one means or x is equal to uh, C. This one is <coughs> like this minus 15 to the power minus 1 divided by x is equal to minus 5 to the power minus 1 or cross multiply this one multiplied by here, this one multiplied by here. So minus 5 to the power minus 1 is equals to minus 15 to the power minus 1 wait where is the x x should be here or now take this one this side ok no I will do this first minus 15 to the power minus 1 pi minus 5 to the power minus 1 now this is also minus so can I write x to the power minus 15 by minus 5 to the power minus 1. Now can I cancel this? Now can I cancel this? Now can I write x to the power 3 to the power minus 1? Or this is equal to 1 by 3? This should be my answer. Clear? Understood how to do the sum? Okay. Let's go to the next sum. Which sum should I do? Some harder one? No, this is easy. I'm 
not getting a good sum. This type of sum finds this each of the positive quotient. Here it is given, express each of the following rational numbers with a positive quotient. So you need to express with a positive quotient. Okay? Sorry, positive exponent. Positive exponent. Oh, how to do this sum? What is the sum? Let me pick this one. I cannot read what it is written. So small, small. 3 by 4 to the power minus 2. 3 by 4 to the power minus 2. So I need to change this minus sign. I have to bring positive. Minus means reciprocal. Finished. That's all. Understood? So hard the sum works. Then Okay, I got one sum. If x is if x equals to 4 by 5 to the power minus square, 4 by 5 to the power minus 2 divided by half to the power square. Am I right? Yes. Find the value of x to the power minus 1. Find x to the power minus 1. Okay. So how to do the sum? Here yeah, given x is equals to 4 by 5 minus 2 divided by half square. Let's simplify this. This should be equals to 5 by 4 square divided by 1 by 2 square equals to 5 5 is 25 by 2 2 is 4 4 is 16. Divided by 1 by 4 equals to 25 by 16 into 4 by 1. 4 4 is 16, 25 by 4. <coughs> now the question is how much is x to the power minus 1? So just it will be the reciprocal. It will be 4 by 25. Now, if the answer wants you to put it in exponents, you should write it 2 by 5 whole square. And if the question says find the value, we are find the value, so this will be this. Clear? <coughs> okay. Next, 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 next. Critical sum, hot sum. Find the value of x. Find x if 5 to the power 2x divided by 5 to the power 2x divided by I think this is 3 minus 3 is equals to 5 to the power 5. This one, see. Better I take this one this side. So 5 to the power minus 2x equals to divide. So here it will be multiplied. Or 5 to the power minus 2x is equals to 5 plus minus 3. Or 5 to the power minus 2x is equals to. Now see the basis are same. Therefore, minus 2x should be equal to 2 or 
this should be your answer. <coughs> clear? Okay. What else is there? Which one should I do? 
Okay, let me do this big sum. 1 by 64, 1 by 64 to the power 0 plus 64 to the power minus half plus 32 to the power 4 by 5 minus 32 to the power minus 4 by 5. Okay. So big sum. Okay, this to the power 0 means 1. Now this one 64, what can I do? Find it out. It will be getting a square is equal to 64. So minus a plus. This one you see it will be getting 2 to the power 5 by 4 by 5. How did I get? Factorize. Okay. Minus 2 to the power 5 to the power minus 4 by 5. Equals to 1. 2 to gets cancelled. Plus 8 to the power minus 1. 5, 5 cancel, 2 to the power 4, minus 5, 5 cancel, 2 to the power minus 4, equals to 1 plus 1 by 8 plus 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16, 16 minus 1 by 16, you know how to do LCM, please do it, 16, 8, not 8, 1. Sharing these videos and subscribing these videos, okay?